Thank you to Snakestone97 for their generous donation as a YouTube member. What is this? Two episodes of extracurricular activities in the same month? Can it be? Yeah, might as well. Hello everyone, my name is Vivian. Welcome back to extracurricular activities. The last one it was Richard Day 2, now it's Richard Day 3. Let's do this shiz. Hmm. I want to make sure I actually loaded the right one here. Because, uh... I literally ended the last episode to be like, I ain't got a load of shit. Hmm. Uh, I shouldn't be awake yet. Hmm? Wait a minute, someone's in my room? Who, who's there? Why are you in my room? What the fuck is going on? This doesn't even look like the same artist. Like, this looks like fan art. What the fuck? I mean, I'm glad to be seeing it. Do not get me wrong. Let me count the ways. <laughs> but still, M M Maria? No, my child. I am not Maria. I am your... <laughs> okay. Okay. This is the lo this is late night low energy. The Bara Godmother, huh? Okay. 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 I am your Bara Godmother. Uh. I am the grantor of your wishes. One that shall lead you to the lands of hunky men. You know, I've dedicated going on six years of my life to playing this game. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, man. Sometimes. A, f <laughs> a fucking field swathed, swathed, swathed in muscles, beef, and the, where the fuck is the Oxford comma? That and should have a comma before it. I don't fuck around with the Oxford comma. And all things thick. Uh, what? <laughs> Your soul has been filled with a lusty longing lately, you naughty boy. It, it has not. You cannot lie to me. I know what urges sleep within you. What urges sleep within you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, full of butts. Oh, for Christ's sake. There's, there's being, there's being, it's on the nose and then there's punching someone in the face. N no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> but which? Let's see. She flicked her wand. Man, 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 man. She flicked her wand around in the air. And after a moment, Coach Grifter. What? What? Isn't this your teacher? Uh, yeah, and my tennis coach. He's a really nice guy, and he's pretty handsome. He sure is. Oh, really now? Richard, hmm? Uh, there's just something about him I find to be charming. I think I'd enjoy spending more time with him. I'm sure you're not the only one. You've really been playing the field, I see. Keeping your options... Oh, wait a minute. My options? Don't fucking tell me. Is this the way of... Is this the canon way to decide whether you're in the Richard route or if you're going to try with the fuck... I just chose Harold during tennis practice. Oh my god. You've really been playing the field, I see. Keeping your options open, indeed. I, I... Worry not, though, for I am here to help you narrow it down. I'm... This is... This is actually starting to piss me off a little bit. Are you serious? 
Who will it be? Who will it be? Aha! I think I'll leave the two of you alone for a moment. Huh? Who? You'll see. Farewell, Hoovy. Dot. Wh what are you doing back in here? Oh, lordy. It... Oh, no. He didn't say anything to you, but he moved towards your bed and leaned down over you, putting his hands on either side of your head. Are you fucking... <laughs> At least with some of the other routes, this, like, took some time. His face moved in closer to you, and... You... Of course, fair enough, this route was a popular request from a lot of people lusting after buff Rhino Man. So, like... I guess this route, you kind of do have to play into it a bit. Fair enough. How are you going to pull 30 days out of this, though? Oh, man. Sace moves closer to you. He closed your eyes, waiting for his lips to press against yours. And it's the morning. You were sleeping, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, it was... Just a dream is all... I really thought Richard was about to kiss me. I can't say I would have minded if he, much if he did, though. I wonder if he's feeling all right. He had a lot to drink last night, and he seemed really bummed out about bummed out about Maria. Uh, I should go check on him. You pulled on some clothes and went to see if Richard was awake. You knocked lightly on his door in case he was still asleep. Yeah. It's Hoovy, Richard. I was just coming to check on you. <laughs> the door opened, and you were quickly pulled in with the door clo being closed just as quickly. Marie didn't see you, did she? No. Good. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Not hungover or anything? You were pretty drunk last night. No, beer doesn't get me a hangover. Okay, well, that's good. I was a little worried about leaving you alone. Didn't want you to throw up all over the place. <laughs> throw up? I ain't a wuss. I could down twice what I did last night and still keep it all down. You sure about that? You looked pretty rough last night. You down me? Uh, maybe a little. You stumbled into my room, then I had to help you back to your room. Look, I said I ain't gonna throw up. Didn't say I ain't gonna go stupid. <laughs> and let's keep what happened last night between you and me, got it? Maria don't need to know I got hammered last night. Do you remember any of what happened? Uh, I remember you helping me back to my room, but that's about it. Did you try taking advantage of me or something? No, I would never. He stared at you intently for a moment. You looked away from him. I'm serious. I would never do something like that. There's no way I can but There's no way I can't believe that. You're way too innocent for that. And the look on your face really gives you away. What really happened? I came into my room, sat down on the floor. You even realized it wasn't your room and said something about the floor feeling good. Mumbling to yourself, so I got up and told you I'd help you to your room. Should I tell him he was groping my arms? <laughs> Why not tell him? Might as well. He ended up groping my arms while I was helping you. You even told me I should give yours a feel, too. Well, did you? Well, <laughs> what happened to not taking advantage of poor old drunk me? You insisted. So I gave your bicep a feel. You said it was a way for guys to show off and that there was nothing wrong with it. Because there ain't nothing wrong with it. Perfectly fine for guys to do that. It's good motivation, you know. Uh-huh. Did you like it? That, that has nothing to do with anything. I'll bet you did. Anyway, welcome back to that word. I got back to your room right after that, and you face planted onto your bed. Well, no surprise there. And that's when... When? Well, you seemed really bummed out about Maria being out still. What? Uh-oh, he we caught him. He uh, griped about her being out with her friends still. Got over pretty quickly, though, and went on to say... <laughs> um, uh, you went... Yeah, you said that, uh, that... <laughs> he 
you said that you wanted to go to sleep. And so you made me leave. Oh, that all? Yeah. You sure? Yes. I woke up alone, so I guess that's true. For you. What, uh, exactly did I say about Maria? He said something about her not wanting to go out with a rough guy like you. And that she was probably out with some rich doctor trying to buy her off. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were a little jealous. You seemed pretty annoyed yesterday when she said she was going out. And I think she said last night. I ain't jealous of nothing. I just didn't want her going out and getting hurt or something like that. And I know nothing about that guy she was out with, so I think it's reasonable to be concerned. You seem a little more than concerned. Well, I ain't jealous. If you say so. Boy, I am gonna deck you real good if you don't cool it. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think we have to worry about her, though. She's a pretty good judge of character, so I'm sure everything will be fine. <sighs> oh. Oh, I get it. Naoki. Yeah, one of the, um... The, the N-4-O-K-Y-C-O. That's, that's Naoki Cooper. Oh, that's lovely. Where's my license plate? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just some flunky that plays these games. I ain't even close to the most popular. But never, not even gonna be. And hey, next time you feel like getting hammered, let me know and at least, and I'll, and I'll at least, and I'll at least hang out with you. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. It's kind of sad to drink all on in your room, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. No, it totally is. I only meant to have a couple of beers last night, but I went through way more than that. <laughs> I'm more of a social drinker anyway, so I'll be sure to invite you next, invite you next time. Good. Anyway, I'll leave you to yourself now. What are you heading off to do? I don't know. I have some time to waste until practice. What time's your practice again? It's round three, ain't it? Yeah. Well, I gotta run out in a bit, so if you want, I'll carry you to the courts when I go. Carry ya. Well, it's not out of the way, I'd appreciate it. It ain't, so don't worry about that. It's kind of a thanks for helping me out last night. And for not mentioning it to Maria. <laughs> Okay. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Will do. Thanks, Richard. I have nothing to do until practice, so I'll just hang out in my room until then. Da, 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 da. All right, I think it's time to get going. Oh, good afternoon, Hoovy. Welcome home, you fucking harlot. Hey, Maria. Haven't seen you around at all today. How are you? I'm wonderful. I was gone for a little bit today, so that's probably why. Conrad. 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 Now, I don't know what the fuck inspired that name, but it's a little fucking odd. It's my grandmother's maiden name. Descended from Conrad's. I feel like this na this game has mentioned a Conrad before. But I might be wrong on that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this Conrad. Conrad took me out to lunch. Conrad? Is that the guy you were out with last night? Yes, he's the one. Oh, I see. I suppose last night went well, then. Oh, it certainly did. It was such a wonderful night out. We had dinner, then he drove me around the city while we just talked the night away. Talked. Mm-hmm. I was having so much fun, I didn't even realize how late it had gotten. When'd you end up getting home? Mm, it was almost one in the morning, I think. It was just so much for us to catch up on. Sounds like you really did have a great time. I did. We're going off again tomorrow night, and to be honest, I'm feeling rather, really rather excited about it. <laughs> That's good to hear. Good for you. 
Uvi, you ready? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm coming to get you. Good afternoon, Richard. Hey, Maria. Are you two off somewhere? I'm taking him to practice, and I got some errands to run. If I finish early, I'll... Likely. Just sit around and wait to pick him up, too. In that case, drive safely. Have yourself a good day at practice, Hoovy, and I'll see you when you both get back. See ya, Maria. See ya, Maria. See, see ya, Maria. Mm-hmm. Later. You know, you know she was out with that guy. You know she was out with that guy again. Conrad? Yeah, she mentioned she was out with him for lunch. Conrad? That's his name? Yeah. How'd you know she was out, though? Saw him pull up and let her out. Gotta admit, the car he was driving sure was sweet. But Maria was all sorts of excited to ride around in that. Richard sighed and patted his steering wheel. Don't be my girl here, though. My the most reliable vehicle you'll ever find. V-hickle! You've had this truck for a while? Yep, 20-some odd years. She's a little banged up, but that adds character. I'd fix her all up if I could, but I can only afford to get the necessities handled right now. One day, though, I'll get all the little dings and scratches handled. She'll look good as new. You ever owned a vehicle? Vehicle! I had a car, but I sold it to pay bills when I started to run out of money after losing my job. Man, that blows. What kind of car was it? I had a green Camaro. You had a 96 Camaro? Weren't you like an office flunky? <laughs> I had a green Camaro. I think it was a 96. I don't actually remember. Shit, you had a Camaro? I bet that was nice. It was a good car. <laughs> Love the days when I could just take the top off and drive like that. I bet. It sucks you had to sell it. It does. I regret doing it too, because it probably would have benefited me more to have just kept it. I know what you mean. I lived in my truck for a little bit. And put a tarp over the back of it and sleep there on there some nights. Yeah, I even slept there under the stars a few times. Gotta admit, kinda nice. How'd you end up at the shelter? I was doing odd jobs around town and ended up doing a few for Maria. One thing led to another and she convinced me to stay there until I got back on my feet. How long has that been? Too long. Not like I ain't been trying to get out, but things just keep falling through. Can't catch a break, you know? Oh, yeah. I know that feeling. What happened to you? How'd you end up there? I don't think I ever really asked. The place I was working at closed down, and I wasn't able to find another job at the time. Burned through all my savings, sold what I could, and still lost my apartment. No family around to help out? I'm not on the best terms with my parents, and I didn't want them to know. Figured I could manage on my own. That's rough, bud. Before the conversation could continue, the tennis courts appeared, and Richard was pulling up, uh, pulling up to the curb to let you out. Ah, eh, there's the tennis song. Thanks for dropping me off, Richard. I appreciate it. How long does practice usually last? Two, three hours. Just depends. Okay, well, I'll be around town, so I'll pick you up before I head back home. You sure? I don't mind walking. Yeah, I don't really feel like being around the shelter right now anyway. Oh, okay. Then I guess I'll see you again in a bit. Mm-hmm. I'll see you then. With a wave, Richard fucked off. I'm kidding, he drove off. Who was that? Yeah, who was that? He was kind of hot. Oh, hey, uh, mm, he's uh, just a friend of mine. Lives at the same place as me. He offered to give me a lift to the courts since he had stuff to do around town. Oh, that was nice of him. Where do you live and what room number is his so I can get in touch with him? 
Can't you keep it in your pants for just five minutes? No, this is the popular populist route. Everyone's got to be horny all the time. I wouldn't have to if someone else would stop leading me on. I don't like them as a couple. I really, really don't. Dots. Send your here, Hoovy. Uh, how about we start stretching? Everyone else should be here soon, so, but there's no reason we have to wait. Yeah, let's get things started. Practice got underway with you playing a doubles match with Darius against Spencer and Chester while Coach Grifter worked with Dozer. An hour passed by and you noticed Richard pull, pulled back up. Oh hey, your man's back already. He's not my man, he's just a friend of mine. Uh-huh. You ever seen his dick before? Oh, God, God damn it. No! I mean, I've caught glimpses of it at the shelter, but I'm not telling Darius that. That doesn't seem like a very convincing no. Why would you even ask that? Just curious is all. Yeah, I should ask Spencer if he wants to swap partners. Come on, don't be that way. Your match continued on, and Spencer and Chester emerged victorious. Jeez, Spence, you're just a beast on the courts. Never stood a chance, but I expected that the moment Coach paired us up against them. It's not like he beat you guys by himself. I was playing, too. He probably could have beaten us alone, though. Yeah, you're right. Oh, fucking Chester. I love you. Please be safe and happy. And thanks, guys. Y'all played great, though. We have a match on Friday, so this should have made for a good warm-up. I think Chester should be working on the drill that Coach is doing with Dozer right now. And you and the other two, <laughs> you other two, you other two, should focus a little bit on your volleys. We still have another 30 minutes or so that we can make use of, so we should, so, so we should practice while we can. But Hoovy's friend is back and probably ready to take him home for their own drills. Darius. Do you actually need to go now, Hoovy? No, I told him how long practice is, so it'll be fine. Okay. The two of you get in position in the service boxes and I'll hit balls to you. You guys volley them back and I want you to aim for wherever I call out. Got it? Yes, sir. Chester, you go over the coach and Dozer. They're working on uh, control drills, too, so that'll benefit you. Okay. And there he goes. You got three lines. All right. Let's get this started. And now it's done. <laughs> Practice came to an end with a quick team meeting to talk about the upcoming matches on Friday, and you were all dismissed for the day. You left the courts and noticed Richard wasn't in his truck, but you saw him coming out of the bathroom. We all done for today? Yeah, sorry for making you wait so long. Now you've been here for a while. Nah, you're good. I knew what to expect. I ain't never watched much tennis before, but it ain't as boring as most other sports. You guys put on a pretty good show for me to watch. Oh, that's good. Some of those guys seem a little big to be playing tennis, though. I'd have expected them to be playing rugby or wrestling or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I was surprised when I first met Dozer and Chester, too. That uh, lizard and bull? Yeah. They're good guys. They aren't the most agile players, but they make up for that in sheer strength. I could tell. The bull nearly took your head off one time when he spiked the ball. <laughs> Barely avoided it, too. <laughs> that would have hurt. I bet. And what's up with your lion buddy over there? Darius? I reckon. He's been staring at me ever since I got here. <laughs> Just ignore him. He's a bit of a pervert. So you're saying he'd like it if I did this? And we're here and flexing and... Richard pulled out his tank top and exposed the middle of the side of his chest, nipple included, and scratched the hair covering the thick flesh. Knowing Darius, yes. Ah, uh, Betty, I'd be willing to bet you enjoy it too. Your face is a little red now. <laughs> oh, Darius just started walking this way, but the dog grabbed him. 
th that'd be Spencer. He's been trying to get Darius to behave all through practice. Behave how? Behave vehicle. All right, scum, answer. <laughs> Richard let his shirt slip back over to cover himself up again. I'm going to breed frogs to sell for French restaurants. I'll, I'll tell you on the way home. Let's go before they come over and start asking questions. What kind of questions? Let's go and I'll tell you. He studied your face for a moment and shrugged. All right, let's go. You and Richard gave your teammates away before hopping into his truck and driving off towards the shelter. He let out a sigh of relief and sank into the seat. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they don't know about your living situation. What makes you say that? Just call it a hunch. Look on your face a minute ago reminded me of how I feel about folks knowing I'm homeless. Ah. Yeah, nobody on the team knows just yet. And part of me hates it because Spencer's my best friend and even he doesn't know. I get you. I didn't really consider that when I brought you by, so I hope I didn't cause you any grief for it. You really didn't. I just told the team you were a friend of mine that lived in the same place as me. Yeah. So for all they know, we're living in the same apartment complex or something. Huh. So you didn't lie to them? No, but it still feels a little... Dirty. <gasps> Ooh, dirty! Try not to let it get to you, buddy. I know how you feel. Stuff like that's a big reason why I ain't been with someone or been on a date in so long. Don't want nobody knowing where I live because I don't feel comfortable bringing them over. But hey, life shifts on... Life shits. Shifts. It shits on us from all from time to time. And we do what we can to make the most of it. Well, that was a lighthearted thing to say, but I'm going to save just in case because my inclination is to laugh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Well, that seemed to be work fine. What does sighing do? He sighed and leaned out the truck window. I guess so. Ooh, that fucks up the mood. Let's laugh. So now you gotta tell me about the whole thing with that line misbehaving. What do you do? <laughs> he just kept making cracks about you being my man is all. <laughs> Is that all? Well, he did ask me once if I had, uh, if I had seen your... Your penis. <laughs> there ain't no way that you admitted that you've seen it. Of course not. But you have seen it, so why not? You have no idea just how much more aggravation that would cause would have caused me with Darius. He'd ask me all sorts of questions about how big it is and stuff like that. Probably go as far as to, uh, to asking me how many, oh god, pubes you have. Like, like, like I have some sort of intimate relationship with your crotch or something. <laughs> as he left, he slapped you on the top of your knee. He's that bad, huh? The worst. Sounds like a fun guy, though. He can be at times, but often he's a bit more than I can handle. Spencer seems to be able to deal with him somehow, though. Those two a thing? Spencer and Darius? <laughs> There's no way. Spencer's as straight as my tennis racket, and even if he wasn't, there's no way he'd ever get with someone like Darius. Maybe your tennis racket's a little warped and you don't realize it. No, it's definitely not. I'd notice while playing with it. What I'm saying is that Spencer might not be as straight as you think. You ever seen him with a girl? I haven't, but then how do you know? I suppose I really don't, but, but he's my best friend. There's no way I wouldn't know something like that. Kinda like how he knows all about you being homeless, right? That... that's different. Is it though? There are some things that even best friends don't know about each other. I guess. What kind of tennis racket do you think I am? Um... I don't know. There's straight and warped. Like, maybe curved a little bit. I don't know. 
Uh, another, I'm gonna go with warped. And the way you act with me sometimes, you're definitely a warped rack. You're most definitely a warped racket. All right, the music didn't go to shit. You think so? Wait a second. You've been all jealous about Maria too. I told you I ain't jealous over here, you dumb bastard. B -b -b baka Yeah, you keep saying that. But does that mean you play both sides of the court, or you just tease me because you think it's fun? You could say it's a bit of both. You're a ton of fun to tease, but I do like to play both sides of the court. I guess I'm going to say this is the right choice. If I'm wrong, you tell me, though. Huh. That will make sense, then. That's something I never really thought about. Nothing wrong with that, either. Now you know, though. It don't bother you none, right? Nah, not at all. What about me teasing you, knowing that now? For all you know, I could be serious with my teasing. He tapped his hands over the sides of the steering wheel and glanced over at you. Oh, um, it ah, doesn't bother me either. I'd, I'd tell you to knock it off if it did. Except maybe only in the sense that it's nothing more than him just teasing me sometimes. Well, that's good to know. Darius has a habit of teasing me too, but he's way more lewd than you have ever been about it. Just, <laughs> just look at him in the other fucking routes. And I still tolerate him most of the time. <laughs> well, you'll have to introduce us one day. I'll have to see just how bad he is for myself. All right, you go get yourself cleaned up. Hey, where's the other bed? Oh, you, you, look, look, fucking look, look. There's fucking flower bed over here, but not on the other side. What the fuck, game? G -g 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 get it on with it. <laughs> I'll see if Maria's doing anything for dinner. If she ain't, I'll whip something else for us tonight. Oh, thanks, Richard. And thanks again for the ride to and from practice. Some days it's pretty tiring to walk home afterwards, so I really appreciate it. Well, I don't mind it none at all. I guess I ain't got much else to do, so any time. I'll have to come out and watch some more, too. If you really want to, we're having matches on Friday. You and Maria can come watch. We could always use some support, especially since it's an away game. Huh, we'll ask her about it tonight then. I'd be down to go. Cool, that'd be awesome. Go on now, get in the shower before Maria smells you. Pfft, I don't smell that bad. Sure you don't. Wait, do I? You do! To the showers I go then. Maria already had dinner cooking when you and Richard got back, so there was a nice meal ready for you after you showered. Nice. Conversation at dinner was light, and after you were done, you got ready to retreat to your room for the evening. Not before. Don't leave before you ask her about the, 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 the away games. Thank you for dinner, Maria. It's nice coming home to a good home cooked meal. You're welcome. After practice, I'm sure you don't want to do much else, so I'm happy that I can do something to help you. Please, you do plenty to help me as it is. I'm gonna head to my room and settle in for the night now, but if you need me for anything, just let me know. Of course. First though, we ain't talked to Maria about Friday yet. Oh yeah, what about Friday? Our first matches of the season are Friday, and I wanted to see if you'd be interested in coming out and cheering for the team. It's an away game, so the extra support would be appreciated. I told him I was down to go. Oh, does she have a date or something? Oh, that sounds like fun. Where is it at? Pitchford Heights. That's not too far off. You said it's on Friday, right? Yep. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh man, is this going to be the route where I don't like Maria? Would you mind if I invited Conrad along too? Oh god, there he goes. You saw the look in Richard's face sour almost immediately. But who are you to say no to Maria? Uh, yeah, I'd be just fine. The more cheers the better. Wonderful. It would be the perfect time to introduce the two of you to him. Just great. I'll talk to him tomorrow about it while we're out. You're going out with him again tomorrow? Yes, we had so much fun last night, we're going out again. 
Third time already this week? Mm-hmm. I think the two of you will get along marvelously, Richard. I wouldn't count on it. Oh, don't be that way. Not to give him a chance, at least. Uh-huh. That's the, that's the only thing I had to ask about tonight, so I'm just gonna head to my room for now. Okay, have a good night, Hoovy. You too, Maria. I'm gonna head to my room, too. Well, good night to the both of you, then. Mm-hmm. You followed Richard off towards your rooms, but before you went to yours, you stopped. Richard. What? If you want to hang out or anything, let me know. Don't worry about me, buddy. I ain't going to drink tonight. Mostly because I ain't got any beer left. I'll probably... Just to, just to help take a shower and call it a night. Alrighty. Though well, I suppose if you want to hang out, I could use a helping hand to scrub my back clean. <laughs> yeah, go with it. Well, if you want... <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to agree to it. You look so tense about it, too. You should relax a little bit. Besides, I'm just giving you a hard time. Gotta want some time to myself tonight. I, I figured you were teasing me again. I just wanted to see how you'd react to me agreeing. You trying to give me a hard time, too? Trying. So if I was serious, what would you do? Grabbed you by your shirt and pulled you close. I, I, I don't know. His face got close to yours and you couldn't keep eye contact with him. He ended up laughing and letting go of you when he was barely an inch away from touching your face. Man. Man, you're easy to get to. Your face is rarer than my hat. Maybe another time we'll both be serious. He slapped his hand on your shoulder and walked off, disappearing into his room and leaving you standing in the hallway. Well then, <clears throat> I guess I'll turn in for the night and try not to think about what could have happened. Uh... Four Thursday. When is Richard gonna get a little animated thing in the corner? Him playing rock, rock guitar, something. All right. That's the end of this episode in this recording session. I'm feeling a little raw in the throat. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to <laughs> fucking take so long before the next episode. But you know what the fuck? Whatever happens, happens. Okay. <laughs> in the meantime, I really need to try to get the fucking save files for tennis ace fixed again it's i know it's no one's fault it happens all the time it just happens but goddamn if it's not frustrating anyway thank you all very much for watching this episode of the richard route i don't know how many days of richard's route have been done uh if someone could let me know in the comments that'd be great but until next time everyone thank you all very much for watching i'll talk to you again soon bye everyone